Good morning cultists! In our previous episode, we left things off after speaking to a Buddhist monk who has requested that we rescue his brother from Maelstromers. Without any bloodshed. I don't know how you expect me to do that sir, but just so you know, technically speaking, breaking someone's neck does not shed any blood. At least, not externally. All the bleeding is internal, which is where it should be. I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out once we get there. Alright, so let's bust a move and get out of here. Um, of course the universe has deemed it fit to get rid of my... Uh, definitely not stolen cop car, so we'll have to, of course, transport ourselves in our glorious, um, jalopy here. Sure, why not? And it's right there. Fantastic. Oh, is it, is it this warehouse? Is it not even a clinic? Okay, oh, I think I see something red. Aha! Uh -huh. I see you, sir. Mr. Forklift? No, that's not you. Alright, let's get out. Um, I guess we'll scope out this location first, but maybe I'll actually start by breaching you. There we go. Fantastic, and I guess there's cameras. Gotcha. Um, let me ping you, sir. And we have... Looks like four people. Possibly more? Are there more than four? Oh, I think maybe a fifth. Possibly taking a dump. Fantastic. And anything else? Doesn't seem like it. I see... What is that? A window? Oh, no, it's a grate. Gotcha. Okay. Um... Right. I don't know if I was expecting more or what, but uh, sure. Uh, what's the camera situation? Since we know that the, the cameras exist. Can I... Hack into the camera? I'm assuming I can just jump onto the crates and figure my way around there. Um... Hmm... Alright, fine. I guess we'll maybe try to go through the grate? Okay, will this lead us to the promised land? Okay, I think we're inside. Oh. What if instead of an arm, we chipped him with iron? Every time he'd have to take a piss, he'd... <laughs> oh, there we go. Camera, gotcha. Uh, let me breach you, I guess. I don't know why I can breach this again. BDE9? Wow. There we go. Is it on or is it off? I think it's on. But... It's not a threat. Wait, does that mean that it's... Hold on. So... Okay. Oh, there we go. Wow, this guy's really grooving. He's jamming out to his... Heavy metal, or something. Fantastic. And from the other side, sure. And then, oh, I guess she's not taking a dump. Well, that's disappointing. Um, all right, cool. So, not a very complex setup, I guess. All right, let's see. This man is jamming and grooving. Will you mind if I come grab you from behind? Um, let's do this before someone starts patrolling. <laughs> What? Did you see me? I'm sorry, sir. Who do you think you are? Unbelievable. Do you mind, uh, terribly if I, um, choke you out without snapping your neck? Or will you mind? Well, either way, he's going down. And, um, he's breathing. So, I haven't technically shed any blood. But, um, I don't know if I need to approach this, like, completely non-violently. I don't know. Alright, let's go deal with this guy, because the other dude doesn't appear to be moving. Sir, do not turn around, alright? I'm just gonna choke you out right here. Don't move. And your friend now. Sir? Atta boy. That's right, just go to sleep. Just go to sleep. Smell my armpit and go to sleep, atta boy. Fantastic. Alright, sir? You are not quite safe yet. No, we need to defeat the uh, Gangoons. 
Um, I guess I'll take care of this guy first, and then take care of the person who's taking a hot dump. All right, sir, come this way. And now you rest, Atta boy. Wait, are we done clearing out this place? What about the person who was taking a hot dump? No? Wow. Nothing on this laptop. Good grief. Get better emails, guys. What is this garbage? What is this two-bit operation you're operating here? Unbelievable. Do not do this. Invitations against my police. Please. Do not do, do what? Not save you? Well, don't worry, I'm not about to save you right now. I need to, um, take care of that person who is not taking a hot dump. Which is, gotta say, very disappointing. Understanding your teen. Well, thank goodness for that. Now I get to understand the teenager that I don't have. Um... Okay. Good thing that we don't need to worry about those cameras. Miss, um, you're not gonna turn around or anything, are you? Yeah. Wait, actually... I want to see something. Um, not necessarily see something, but uh, maybe do a little uh, different thing here. All right, so I'm just gonna land on top of your head. That's not bloodshed. Don't nope. Fuck with me. Nope. Definitely. I mean, blood has been shed, but whoa! What the? Didn't I put your head through the box? Wow. Did I bash your head in so hard that she like bounced off the concrete and then just landed on her back? Damn! I think she's probably dead at that point. I mean, I would imagine. Not, not many people can uh, survive having their head bashed in at full force um, into the uh, concrete, but there you have it. Alright, sir, I think you're safe now. Now that I've dealt with all the uh, dudes, and hopefully this should count towards um, non-violence, or rather non-bloodshed. And more laptops with only spam. Get better oh friends. God, oh, It's over now. I'm not with them. So... What are you doing here? What happened? Well, I was gonna take a hot dump, but then it turns out that someone else has already taken a hot dump. Glad I got here in time. Are you okay? Did they do anything to you? I was lucky. They could not decide which implant would be... funnier. Cyber psychos. The lot of them. One... One of them wanted to remove my jaw. The thought itself gave me shivers. Thankfully, did not get the chance. To what do I owe this intervention of yours? Uh, definitely the god of hot dumps. Your brother sent me. Was walking by and caught some lame jokes about metal monks. Think about Maelstrom. They're never just joking. Not with the truths that your brother sent me. He didn't want the same thing to happen to you. From the bottom of my soul, thank you. I'm especially grateful nobody was killed. May you continue on the path of peace. Path what of peace? What compels these monsters is of no consequence. It's not up to us to judge what they deserve. Um, yeah, sure. Okay, but I think they deserved um, a little bit more than choking out, but sure. How'd you even get taken by Maelstrom? Most people avoid him like the plague. We are here as strangers. We wander from place to place. When we arrived in Nice City, we had no time to identify its dangers. Don't monks live in monasteries? It used to be they did not. My brother and I belong to a group that follows the earliest Buddhist teachings. It is an interesting life. We have met many unusual people. So I see. There's no need for sarcasm. We know the world is dangerous. But if one takes no risks, one will never know what lies beyond the front door. I'm sure you understand. Yeah, nothing ventured, nothing gained, I get it. Um, but, uh, I don't know about the path of peace. I mean, if you're talking about the path of peace as in, like, the peace of death, then yes, I do walk the path of peace, but anyways... Your brother's waiting for you. Not far from here. First, I must catch my breath. And then I shall go. It is him who shall need saving now. Look who's taken the righteous path. If you're so afraid of killing, maybe you should have become a monk instead of a merc. Gladly! Killing isn't the solution to everything. If you want to change the world, there's always a price to be paid. As for these chrome fucks, you think they got all this gear by sitting around going, um... If they had enough to spare on monks, then surely they don't need all of it. 
Johnny, have you not seen my Pathfinder playthrough? I, uh, I'm a monk there, and I get to, um, wreak my fist of fury on everyone, and bam! Fucking just annihilating things left and right. Um, I guess we were able to, uh, not shed any blood? Ooh. An iconic submachine gun. Fantastic. I'll take that. I'll also take your money. Anything else to take? EMP grenade. And, uh, tinnitus? Music review and attempt. Sure. And some more money? Fantastic. Um, just so you know, Mr. Monk, I have a bit of a policy in regards to, uh, not taking any prisoners. Is it okay if I, now that I've saved you without any, uh, bloodshed, take these guys out back and then just rip them to shreds? Um, hope you don't mind. <laughs> Sir? Are you, um... I don't think he cares. Alright, fantastic. Then I'm just gonna... There you go. Eat shit. Nice. <laughs> I just gained a level for um, bashing someone's head until they were knocked out. I love it. Absolutely love it. Alright, well, we have a couple more people that we need to take care of. There you go. Nice. Oh, look at that. My street cred went up for punching a dude that's been knocked out. Nice. Fantastic. It turns out that kicking a man while he's down is the uh, way to go in this, uh, in this place. Great. Uh, I believe we also have the guard by the uh, front door. And then we should be, um, good to go. No survivors! Fan-fucking-tastic. Alright. Um, I guess maybe we should go tell the... Oh! Oh, you're still here! Hey, um, did you want to maybe take one of these dead bodies as a little, um, little souvenir? What do you say, sir? Would you like to, uh, take one of these bodies? I- I just found it like this. I definitely didn't make him dead. Nope, absolutely not. I'm just going to... Now, these guys tend to, like, heal over forward, so, um... Maybe you'd like to see him go into the, uh, water. Right there. What the fuck? That's not what I wanted to do at all. Fall into the water, you dumb piece of shit. Not you, Mr. Monk. Uh, I'm talking about this guy. There we go. Fantastic. He just went right to the bottom. Wow. How heavy was his body? Didn't even splash. Holy crap. The water in this place is weird. But anyways, um, I guess we're done with this mission. I guess we don't need to uh, go back to the brother and tell him. All right, fine. Then I guess we'll go find... Uh Gottfried and Frederick studio and um, deal with that nonsense. Oh, I guess I should level up too. Let's see. Um, should I increase my cool and then maybe get something like this? Or should I increase my intelligence and get nothing new? Eventually, level 11 will give us some um, interesting stuff as will level 12. Sorry, I almost said 2 and then I started to uh, change the word in the middle of the uh, um, word and that it sounded like a uh, 12 or whatever the, whatever the fuck I just said um hmm, I think let's go with cool 12 sure and I will get ghost I guess I might as well get both levels and uh, I think maybe I don't really need that so far at least okay cool um, I guess if we want to do cold blood, we should maybe get, uh, or cold blood. We might want to get the uh, first one first, but, uh, I think we're fine. All right, cool. Um, let's see. We, we just kind of luck went by the, um, Gottfried and uh, Frederick studio thing. But I don't think we actually scoped that out, did we? No. Oh, my goodness. Almost fucking fell into the water. Good grief. Do you not have any barriers? I guess you're just expecting people to not be idiots and, um, drive into the ocean? Oh, I was close, though, I will say. Perfect curves. Nice. Very nice. All right, another drift. Fantastic. And here we are, I think. Yes. All right, let's see. What exactly are we dealing with? I see some cameras. Alright, sure. Um, let me breach you. 
I see, I see. Fantastic. And uh, I guess I might as well put you into friendly mode. And then control your ass. Alright, so four cameras in this network. Got a goon there. Anyone else? Got a goon there. Come on, friends. Oh, I guess I can just ping them. I forgot about the pinging. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. And who else? Got a couple here. And I think that's another camera. Yes, it is. Sure. Um. Okay, so that's where the other camera is. Gotcha. Then I guess, have I turned all the cameras friendly? Or no? Oh, I think I missed a, a couple of dudes. Good thing I checked. Are we good? Oh, another camera? Um, you know what? I guess I could just turn it off. Or, you know, a friendly mode is fine. Just in case. I guess that's it? Oh, missed another one. Unbelievable. And there's that fourth camera, I think. Okay, cool. Um, hmm. I guess we can just hop the fence. But what other approach do we have? Okay, I think we might be able to uh, jump onto that, perhaps. And then just sneak in. I would like to, since we uh, approached our last mission non violently, or relatively non violently, um, we take an extra violent approach with this. And by that, I mean snap their necks uh, more than once. What the fuck? Did they get untagged again? Alright, it turns out that the whole uh, friendly camo mode thing is a little annoying, but whatever. Oh, I think we can also go this way. Interesting. Alright, fine. We have to pick a spot to enter through, so I guess we'll just do this. Daddy and his doll sitting in their high castle giving me some orders like I'm some dog? I'm a white now, Booya. Eddie's a legit. Whoa, so this the be on end all in nice city now? Don't like it. Take it up with Pat. Why don't I just short circuit myself while I'm at it? Why don't you? Ah, fuck that noise. What noise? Did you hear me? No. Oh, he's talking about that fuck that shit. Gotcha. Alright, so he's patrolling that way, and his friend is just staying there, I guess. Oh, laptop. Fantastic. And I can jack into this bad boy. Alright, sure. Um, actually, I should have... Ah, shoot. I should have maybe done this afterwards. Oh, no, I did it right. Fantastic. Okay. So, let's see. A couple of messages. Whatever, from Tom Arnold to Olivia Perez. I'm so fucking over this, you have no idea I don't want to uh, do anything and I mean nothing. Don't want to crack skulls, get wild at a party like that. Nothing, like something switched off in my head. I'm just stuck here with these beady losers who you... You know that father-son duo. He calls his dad Papa, like what the actual fuck. And I'm wondering why they even fucking bother. They're like uh, sitting on piles of cash and they don't need to do anything and they're still uh, tuning snuff all day. What, like what the fuck, right? And more spam. Security turret? Ooh, interesting. Uh, let's not turn it on in case it's gonna uh, tear me a new butthole immediately. And I'll just turn off these stupid cameras now, thanks. Alright, cool. Um, sir, would you like to maybe look the other way while I, um, hoopsiously thrangle your butthole? Can I at least, uh, maybe draw you in? with this. Fantastic. And then while he goes to investigate, I will of course snap his neck from behind. Hopefully. That's right, sir. That's right. You go investigate that bad boy. Sure. Right. Stay there. Don't, don't turn around. boy. And now I can just kill you. Perfect. Okay, let me deal with your friend before I, uh, Deposit your bodies into the, um, into the, uh, dumpster. Almost forgot the word there. Good grief, it turns out my mind is a dumpster. Sir, would you like to, um, you know, uh, what's the word? I've forgotten what I was about to say. It's fine. <laughs> I think I meant to say, like, break in the, uh, your new home by, um, having some sexual times with your friend, but I may have gotten lost in the, uh, in the words there, I guess. I'm fairly certain there was someone else up there too, but... 
I think the uh, friendly camera mode has fucked it up. And wasn't there another guy here too? Or is that the person that I'm looking for? I guess that might yeah. be who I'm looking for, right? Well, yeah. I mean, oh, is he having we'll a... a oh, he can here, just break the fence? Uh -huh. Oh, I guess I could have just gone through here too. Wait, how come breaking the fence requires engineering or um, technical ability and not uh, brute force or whatever? Does he patrol? Uh, oh shit, he is patrolling. And he's coming this way. Um, I'm just gonna hang out here. Just be all casual and shit. Um, a nice day we're having there, sir. Wow, he looks so mopey. Like someone just shit in the cereal. Alright, um, I guess you're stopping there. And thankfully, it seems that- oh shit. Ooh, mama! I was close. Alright, sir. That was unacceptably close. We can't have that again. Absolutely not. Can I take your body and deposit it somewhere quickly? Uh, just in case there are some patrol routes that I'm not entirely aware of. Can I put your body into the, um, trunk of this truck? Uh, I don't know if I can actually put his body into the truck bed, so maybe not. Alright, I think that's a, a more permanent solution there. Fantastic. Alright, so... Um, who was the one who was seeing me? Was that him? Or... That person? I guess we'll find out. Ooh, floodlight. Um, can I distract you with something else? Would that be possible at all? Or should I just go for it? You know what? We'll just go for it. Eh, perfect. Oh, shit! Ooh, mama! I was close! Damn! Sir? Almost gave me a fucking heart attack. That was unappreciated. Good grief. Okay, so... Do there. I'm thinking... Take that perfume. Maybe I'll go in from the side there. I think that might be the... Best way to approach. Um, that being said, I know there's two dudes here, so... Maybe not? We'll check it out, I guess. Mm, what's the best way to sneak up on them? Ah, there we go. Ah, I knew it. There is another dude there. Gotcha. How do I distract you guys? Um, how do I get the be guy behind him? Would that air conditioner do? Okay, so that'll distract him, and then I can maybe go break his friend's neck from behind? Uh, will that floodlight distract the right guy? Not really. Maybe the satellite dish? Nope, that won't do shit. We might need to just go for that air conditioner. Actually, what if I uh, whistle for him to come over? Right, I guess he uh, can't get on top of this thing. Hmm. Maybe we should take another approach. Or, if we go in from this side, I can take that garbage and then see where this leads. Okay. Kind of? Alright, so if I do that, then I should be able to break his neck and then maybe go break the other dude's neck afterwards. Alright, let's give it a try. Fuck me. What is it now? I don't know. You should go look at it. Look at it real good. Uh, as much as I would love to hear the rest of your conversation, sir, I'm on a bit of a schedule, so... Me harder than Chrome. What the fuck? <laughs> Should I maybe um, listen to the rest of the conversation? Oh well, too late. He's dead. And um, <laughs> the story was so good, he decided to just keep going with it. Uh, even after death. Alright, so sniper guy there. Mm, and dude inside. So I guess the dude inside we won't need to worry about right now. Oh, shit. Maybe I do need to worry about him. Alright, let me deal with old Sniper Joe here. Shit. Is the other guy gonna see me? Hopefully not. Sir? Don't look at me. Alright? Just don't. Thank you. Oh, jeez. Alright, so that guy. He doesn't seem to move. I'm hoping that he's just stationary and won't turn around the last second or nothing. Sir? Do not... Turn around. Attaboy. 
It's like one of those horror movies where uh, you should never turn around and then there's that ghost setting right behind you or, or whatever. So where's the other dude? Is that guy not... Ah, speaking of ghosts, right on schedule. We got the old uh, neck-breaking ghost um, making its, you know, noise or episodal uh, deb debut, as it were. Can I deposit your body somewhere? No? Can I not give this gentle soul a permanent uh, home? All right. I guess I can just throw your body off the uh, side here, but... Where exactly do I go to access this guy? Is there like a flight of stairs in here, maybe? Oh, there is. I see. Okay, he looks to be kind of looking this way, maybe. Can I distract you with that, sir? That's right. That's right. You go look at that. Go up real close. Give the uh, vending machine a good sniff. A good licking. Because if there's one thing I know about the repairing uh, vending machines, it's that you need to uh, sniff it and lick it. Um, in whatever order you prefer, I guess. Can I put your body somewhere? Anywhere? No? Alright, well, I don't want anyone to accidentally uh, walk in on me with this dead body, so I will try to find you a home. Oh, no. I guess we'll have to go to the uh, one at the far end there. That's fine, because I think I've actually dealt with everyone now. Fan fucking tastic. I will take your ammunition. Take all that. Yes. And now. Oh shit, sorry. Whoa, that was weird. <laughs> Almost did like a uh, dump and um, dump and dump kind of thing. Um, less so like a pump and dump, which is of course sexual in nature. Um, all right, so anything else? Any other secrets or things to loot? I think we have free reign of the entire area since we've um, taken care of everyone. Can I maybe hack into some shit here? Of course, I'll leave the access point stuff for after uh, afterwards, so don't bore you with that nonsense. No, I think that might be it for loot. At least on this floor. Well, you know, important loot that is. Not to say that uh, the garbage that we've been picking up isn't important. Yeah, that's a little too much noise right now, thank you. There. That nice peace and quiet. This is the music that I listen to uh, when I uh, break people's necks, of course. And speaking of, like, fucking clockwork. Okay, um, not seeing any more enemies. But, uh, never know. They could just appear out of nowhere. We've seen that kind of behavior before, right? Kind of? Oh, that's the security turret. Alright, um, I would like to put this into friendly mode just in case. Fantastic! And I'm now overweight. Less fantastic. Um, and I missed that too. Definitely not fantastic. Alright, fine. I guess I'll break some shit down before I continue. Otherwise, we'll have to move at a snail's pace. Um, let's see. I think I'll just break down some of the, yeah, lower quality weapons here. That's not really necessary, thanks. Get the fuck out of here, common loot. Like I have time for you. I have like over a hundred thousand bucks now. Holy shit, that is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Okay, um, still no new enemies. Does this lead anywhere special? It looks like it does, right? Okay, well, um... Right there. Oh, is something sexual happening? What do you think? Else it'll feel like stabbing a pillow. I think they're talking about something sexual. I guess this is Gottfried and uh, Frederick. Oh, look at that! I guess this is a little um residential area. New release brain dances and electric baton gamma. Fuck yes. So I can break people's kneecaps with a uh, electric baton now. Absolutely fantastic. Anything else? I guess we're good. Okay. Hey, good gentlemen. I guess they're right. They're in a little trance. Oh, I can talk to them. Uh, let me see their computers first. BD gear from Max uh, Peltier to Gottfried Person. 
Hey Godfrey, I need some new gear for uh, tuning BDs. Got anything you'd recommend, just as long as it's a reasonable price. Hi Max, you want us to put us out of business? If the um, equipment is just for you, then I'm happy to lend whatever I'm not using anymore. By the way, what happened to your la uh, scrolls? Yours were some of the best. Great, I'll drop by and take it off your hands. Don't worry about the scrolls. I'm way too deep to give up now. Stuff he knows from Rex Addy to Gottfried. Yo, yo, Chum. Have heard you had some minor hiccups with the new BD security features. Freddy mentioned something about not being able to reach the old factory layer. Here's the dealio. The feature features were included in the new update for Arasaka Tech. I'll need a pro to bypass the protocols, and it just turns out that I know just the guy, Hal Cantos. <gasps> Hal Cantos? Give him a call. He'll know what to do. Interesting. Files, new, sexy, hot. Okay, so I guess these are BDs, animals, humans, bodies, humiliation, public, old, young, victim, POV, pubic hair, mild pain, femdom, penetration, forced, kids, forced, death. Jesus. I feel nasty having read that. Bunch of fucking degenerates. Gentlemen, um, I would like to wake you up, but also, can I... No? All right, fine. Wakey, wakey, gentlemen. Wakey, wakey, gentlemen. W what's happening? Security! Too far away to hear us. They're dead. Let's not do anything rash here. We just tune and sell. We don't scroll. Honest to God. Yeah, I don't believe that. figure this out. Just tell us what you want, and we'll make it happen. Got a little family affair going here, huh? People want to buy, so we sell. Business is business. Yeah, don't think so. Looking for something in particular? You know, if, if it wasn't us, there'd be someone else. Don't care. Y you you want to see something really hard for Freddy! We just supply what Night City demands. That's all. Yeah, don't care. XBD of a preacher's little boy. Murdered. Ring any bells? Uh, which preacher? Which? Just got a fresh batch with boys. No clue who their daddies are. Gonna need more. Bryce Stone, circuit writer on News 54. Son was Bobby Stone, 12 years old when he died. Are we talking black, white, Chicano? Wow! Any identifying marks? You've killed that many children Not that you don't even know? Papa? I think I know the one she wants. BD 9430. Preacher's boy, who murdered him? Who gave you the XBD? Nobody gives us anything. They, they leave dead drops. We just go pick them up. Right, Keeps so... things secure for everyone involved. Speedy was raw when you got it. Must have noticed something in the background, some kind of clue. Reflection in the mirror, tattoo, anything. Our, our, our only concern is with imperfections. N not who makes them. Right, but they weren't the ones that uh, killed them. They, ex you know... Profited off the death and uh, pain. All right. Kindly hand it the fuck over now. I think Boy, I know where it is. Please, just relax. Just take it, Freddy. Ma'am, it's just behind us on the shelf. Hmm. Nine four three zero. Okay. I wonder what happens if I just kill them. I'm not gonna lie. I'm very tempted. I mean, sure. It's they weren't the ones that uh, killed them, but the fact that they profited off their deaths and pain and suffering and whatnot is uh, still pretty despicable, gotta say, sir. Still pretty despicable. All right, fine, I'll take it then. That, that's it. That, that's the one. Just, just take it. Mm, is it better that they die? How about we, uh, you know what? Let's, at the very least, leave them a lasting memory with our new electric baton ga uh, gamma. There we go. Sir? Yeah, I don't think so, chucklehead. Papa! Why? Why did you have to kill him? I didn't kill him. He should be still alive. I'll do anything. Please just let me live. Will you now? Okay. Uh, what will you do? Will you take a good spanking? Yeah, you will. Yeah, you take that spanking, bad boy. Yeah, you like that? What are you gonna do now? Huh? What are you gonna do? I <laughs> just fucking keeled over. Fantastic. Thanks, guys. Thanks. 
Thanks for allowing me access. Are you dead? He might be dead. He's bleeding. And, um, well, at least he's still alive. Your son's dead. Um, I think. Is he dead? He's bleeding, so he must be dead. Well, I don't know if you want to live with your, uh, in a world where your son doesn't live, so here. I'll just bash you on the head too, I guess. Fantastic. Alright, well, I was just gonna leave them, uh, you know, battered and bruised, but, uh, they just kinda died. Or at least the son died, so... I figured we might as well just finish the job, right? Okay, um... Let me see. Regina, hope you don't mind that I killed them. Is that okay with you? We need to uh, drop this off, so let me just quickly drop that off, and then I think we'll probably end the episode. And then I will do the um, access point shit in between episodes, so that you don't have to uh, watch me embarrass myself. Fantastic. Regina, we good? Great work, V. Let's hope it helps trace the motherfucker who scrolled the thing. Gig's closed. Fantastic. Alright, well, uh, like I said, let's end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow and I guess we will continue to clean up the streets of uh, degenerate filth who go around uh, profiteering off the deaths of um, children and uh, people and whatnot. Even though I definitely profit off the deaths of other people, at least it's not children, so, you know, I've got, got that going for me, right? Or it's something, I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah, we'll do that tomorrow, or do the other stuff uh, in our next episode. So for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.